Meghan Markle is preparing for the arrival of her first royal baby, but where will she give birth? Meghan Markle has just weeks to go until she and Prince Harry welcome their first child. The royal baby's birth will alter the line of succession and he or she will automatically fall into seventh in line to the throne. Choosing a maternity unit fit for a prince or princess comes with a unique set of dilemmas but throw in Meghan's American heritage and it could become an international conundrum. LA-born Meghan has not shared whether or not she plans to have her baby in the UK or in the United States, but nothing can be ruled out at this point. Where will Meghan have her royal baby? There are three main options likely in the running for where the Duchess of Sussex could have her baby. The Mulberry Birth Center, Surrey. The hot favorite for where Meghan will have her baby remains the Mulberry Birth Center. Prince Harry and Meghan recently moved into Frogmore Cottage, Windsor Castle located about 15 miles away from the NHS-run maternity unit at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey. Sophie the Countess of Wessex gave birth to her eldest child, Lady Louise Windsor, there in 2003. The Countess credits the centre for saving her life after she suffered a placental abruption and she returned there in 2014 to open the new neonatal unit. There are four birthing rooms and suite-like facilities. The Mulberry Birth Center is even said to be fit for a duchess, according to mother of three Joe Thompson, who gave birth there. She told the son, they really look after you there and explain everything really well. They're very friendly and experienced, they really care. If Meghan does give birth there, I think all the ladies would be so excited but they'd be super professional about it. It's certainly fit for a duchess, the Mulberry Suite is just incredible and to think it's part of the NHS so completely free, it's mind-blowing. The Linda Wing, St. Mary's Hospital The prestigious Linda Wing has become the go-to choice for pregnant royal mothers since opening in 1937. The Duchess of Cambridge gave birth to all three of her children at the privately run Linda Wing, costing £7,500 a night for a C-section. The ward is staffed by notable obstetricians including Guy Thorpe Beeston and consultant gynecologist Alan Farthing, the team who delivered Prince George. However, a royal insider told The Sun earlier this year Meghan was unlikely to opt for the Lindo wing because she doesn't want to do anything that Kate Middleton has. Cedars Sinai's Maternity Ward, Los Angeles Should Meghan opt to cross the pond for an L.A. birth? She could opt for the glamorous Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Beverly Hills. Gwyneth Paltrow, Kate Hudson, Courtney Kardashian, and Victoria Beckham have all given birth at the hospital's $4,000 a night delivery suites. The luxurious facilities include gourmet meals, flat screen TVs, and access to in room salon services such as hairstyling and manicures.